Assalamu alaikum. Hi. So my my colleague asked asked me about the meaning of this slide. So what is frequency selective? What is slow fading? What is flat uh, fading? What is slow fading? What is fast fading? Okay, and and you know in any radio transmission the channel spectral response response is not flat. What do I mean not flat? Well, I'll show you a figure. Here, this is the channel frequency response. You see there are, there are dips and fades, so it's not like a straight line. <coughs> so that's what it meant what that's what I mean, not flat. Okay, so let's go back to our chart. Uh, these dips or fades are caused by the reflections we, we've talked about when we talked about delay spread in the previous video. So these reflections cause cancellation of certain frequencies at the receiver. And so how do we know if the channel is frequency selective or not frequency selective? We can know if it's not frequency selective when the symbol period is greater than or equal 10 times the delay spread. So if it's less than 10 times the delay spread, the frequency, the channel is frequency selective. But if it's bigger than or equal than te 10 times delay spread, then it is not frequency selective. So make sure you write down these things. I intentionally did not, you know, uh, make a table or anything because I wanted you to take notes. So another way to know if it's frequency selective or non-frequency selective, you check, you check if the symbol rate is less or equal the coherence bandwidth. So if it's less than the coherence bandwidth, then you have a non-selective uh, channel or a flat channel. You know, it, it means the same. Flat means non-selective. So the we know that the coherence bandwidth is related to the delay spread which i talked about in the previous video by two estimations first one one of the estimations is if the frequency correlation function was bigger than 90 percent in this case the coherence bandwidth equals one over 50 times uh, the delay spread but if the frequency correlation function was greater than 0 0.5 or 50% correlation, then the coherence bandwidth is 1 over 5 times the delay spread. So if the channel is frequency selective, then we need to use an equalizer at the receiver. Otherwise, the channel is flat and no need to use an equalizer. So again, to summarize, if you want to know if the channel is frequency selective or non-frequency selective, there's a rule of thumb, okay? The channel is flat or non-frequency selective if the symbol period is greater than or equal 10 times the delay spread. Also, if the symbol rate is less than the coherence bandwidth, then the channel is non-frequency selective or it is flat. Okay, so, and as shown here, you know that they, if it's, if it's, <coughs> if it's flat, then it's, uh, if it's flat, it doesn't mean that it's slow or fast and fading, it depends. And this depends on the time selectiveness, which I'm going to talk about right now. So, <coughs> before I discuss time selectiveness let's talk about doppler shift okay doppler shift happens if the transmitter and the receiver or one of them is moving in relation to the other so this shift in frequency can cause significant problems if the transmission technique is sensitive to carrier frequency offsets Okay, so using the relationship between Doppler shift and coherence time, we can tell if the channel undergoes fast or slow fading. 
So this chart is really key to summarize everything, but you know you, you need to write the details under each uh, sub square. So okay, so how how what is coherence time? I mentioned coherence time, but I didn't define it. Coherence time is the time duration over which two received signals have strong potential for amplitude correlation. Okay, so what does it mean? If the channel is slow or fast and fading, what does it mean? It means that if it's slow or fast, then this refers to the rate at which the magnitude and the phase is changing. Okay, so... And how do we know? How do we know if it's fast or slow? Uh, this, we go back to the Doppler shift. If the Doppler, if the maximum Doppler shift is greater than 1 over the coherence bandwidth, then the, the channel undergoes fast fading. But if the, the maximum Doppler shift is less than 1 over the coherence time, or TC, then the channel is undergoing undergoing slow fading. I hope I explained everything in like a clear way. If you still have questions you can ask me.